yellow wood. This is the wood that I'm using, yellow wood. No features whatsoever on the grain. So let me give you some features. So what I'm doing is I glued it on a piece of uh, plywood. And the reason you'll see now why is because I'm using it as a base to cut um, the to cut the yellow wood in a 30 degrees angle. I'm, I'm going to do grooves of 30 degrees. And the only way to do it is and to keep my fingers in one piece is to put a, um, a base to it and the base will be the support on the side. Creating a quick vessel, um, you can see the plastic um, surrounding and um, I'm going to do a quick vessel for it and this time I'm using, uh, I'm not using a pressure pot, I'm using a, a vacuum chamber. It's easier with a vacuum chamber because it's going to take all the bubbles out of the grains and out of the, of the, of the cuts that I done, the grooves and replace them with resin. This resin is one and a half hour uh, potting time so I'm okay with that and um, after I, I took it out I, I left it in the chamber overnight and now I'm going to remove the vessel and I'm going to wait you will see just now I'm cutting it exactly the same but the opposite direction so I'll have a crisscross 30 degrees um, on, on, on this yellow wood and of course you can see now here very carefully how I don't cut my cut off my fingers and it goes back into the a vacuum chamber um, so it will fill up with but this time I put much more resin on top and there is resin in this small uh, container and the reason is uh, I'm not going to tell you the reason now you'll see it a little bit later there is a reason to my madness At this stage I'll take it to the bend saw, I'll cut it round and I will drill um, a 55 millimeter uh, hole in the back so it will create a recess for me into the plywood and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start uh, doing the shape that I want to get into and the main thing is that I have to get into the line so the lines will be visible and it has to be um, equal both sides. I'll try to make it equal both sides so the lines will be on both sides of the, of the ball, it will be exactly the same. I'm leaving this piece of plywood, plywood all the way to the end and I'll remove it only in the end. It's a good support. Of course, I'm using the black line tools um, on this project. Um, it cuts so nicely the wood and the resin on the same on the same fly. Uh, really impressed. Remember I had, I had extra uh, resin on top and I wanted to stay like that and um, I just straightened it and now I'm going to drill a hole. Now the idea behind leaving resin on top is that um, you will see the next step that I'm going to do. It's going to look like it flows from the top, it flows all the way um, to the lines. The hole that I, the, the drill that I drilled wasn't the, the same size that I wanted so I just with a square black line tool, I just cut it straight through to the bottom. Um, and th the idea is to put a, a light inside. And um, with the mini black line I'm, and the V-shape, um, I'm cleaning the corner between the round area to the flat area and to the end. And now I'm going to, I reversed it and I'm going to do the shape. I'm going to, 
I'm going to machine the shape of the of the ball of the outside. I'm going to do it also on the inside. And now just the last figures smooth it down before I go into um, into sandpaper it. This time I'm going to sandpaper from 180 all the way to 600. And after I finish with the 600, um, because I've got the, the, the resin, so I need to go all the way to the 600. And when I finish with it, I'm going to go to Yorkshire grid. Um, and after the Yorkshire grid, of course, I'm going to do uh, Obishan juice. And um, I, I want to see how Obishan juice reacts to this yellow wood. Um, I never had it. I don't think I've done it before. And let's see now. That it Oh, man, it shines out nicely. Um, I hope it will stick this way and it's not going to s suck in into the wood and going to get um, dull. So what I do is I'll, I'll do it twice and the second time I'm going to I'm going to uh, really use it, do it like um, uh, burning in or burn it into the wood so it will not get dull. And now this other piece of resin that you saw that I had in, in the container, in the, in the yogurt container, this one I'm going to machine and I'm going to create, um, I'm going to do a, a recess in both sides. No, sorry, I'm going to do a recess on this side so I can use it on the other side. Here I'm going to make a step. I'm sorry, I just lost the focus on the camera for some reason. And that will be my lead for the box, uh, my lead for the, uh, for the ball or the box. Uh, and this is the same resin, so it will look like it's flowing into the, into the lines from the top. I made uh, I made on the other side I made um, how you call it um, a recess so I can hold it and now I'm going to do the outside and the top of oh, so much um, I will do the I don't know what happened to the camera I will do the lid from the outside now here what I done I put the lid back in and I'm trying to do to make it flow with the box with the vessel the box the the ball whatever we you call it uh, so it, so the lid will flow together it's not going to have a step into it On this one, I finished the polishing with actually with um, um, Yorkshire grit, and now I'm creating a small uh, um, recess over there. So I will put. You see this piece? This one I done from um, another. That is a piece that's left over from another project. If you if you ever look on top, it will be over there a place where you can go and see the project. You can see the the video that I made for this one. And I'm going to use it um, to make it as for the lid. And you will see the end of it. It's like it's broken because when I worked it on the previous project, I, I put a little bit too much pressure and it, it cracked on the top. So here I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to leave it as it is, like broken. It, will, it gives another, I think, another uh, dimension, another feature. It looks very nice. You can see from the smoothness of the lid to the broken of the lid head uh, and now it goes back. Now if you ever look here on the on the jaws you will see there is a rubber like I'm using all the time. I'm putting a bicycle uh, tube on top of it, a rubber, and it doesn't damage the project when I do the outside. Now I'm going to finish the base, uh, the bottom of the ball. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to cut it so it to look like really a round ball. And, and I'll be sure that I'm, I'll leave enough leg room so it will sit solid on the table.
straightening the bottom and making in the middle um, a recess for my logo. And of course, exactly the same like I done before, uh, all the way to 600 and Yorkshire grid. In the corners of it, I just decided to burn a line just to give it a little bit of a break between the three tiers of the work. I think the OB shine just give it a hell of a nice shine and I'm going to keep using it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, and if you're not new and you are a regular to my channel, don't forget to put at the bottom some comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers and have a good weekend.